Asia. Good afternoon to you. It's been very mild for over a week now. We're starting uh, this week off on a mild note. However, the next few days look turning more unsettled thanks to low pressure systems bringing wet and windy spells to our shores. And then from Thursday onwards, it turns a lot cooler with temperatures returning closer to the seasonal norm. Temperatures 6 to 9 degrees, feeling noticeably cooler. And we hold on to that chillier theme with some wintry showers across northern hills for the end of the week. Nights will become colder as well with a touch of frost. That's it from me, Ben. Hello, good afternoon. Well, it's been a mostly cloudy day so far, as captured here by one of our weather watchers, the suitably named Johnny Head in the Clouds, because it has been quite grey out there. Right. Tomorrow is a bit grim. We've got um, probably sort of intermittent rain and then it might be a bit heavier at a time, but hopefully it'll improve during the afternoon. Okay. And then it's a bit all over the place on Thursday and actually staying a little bit bitty uh, as we go through weekend. So I'm really sorry. So definitely get your um, warm, we uh, your wet weather wet gear weather on. And keep the brolly in the bag. Yeah. Yeah, and also yeah. your warm weather gear as well, because eventually uh, by Friday it's going to be a bit chillier. We might even get a frost later. Cheers. Hello again. I hope you had a lovely day. I think these little pups will be looking even soggier uh, by tomorrow because we've got pretty grim conditions. It's going to be a bit wet and windy. And into Thursday, although it's pretty uncertain, some quite strong gusts around with some heavy showers potentially too, or there may be some brighter spells at times. And then it's gradually turning cooler, but more noticeably so by Friday. Now, Thursday, as I said, a lot of uncertainty, but watch out for some squally winds and some heavy showers, hopefully a few uh, brighter breaks at times and still unsettled for Friday and those temperatures as you can see are on the way down. That's it, see you later on, cheerio. Now a spectacular meteor lit up the sky above Lincolnshire and Yorkshire late yesterday afternoon. What was that? It was a meteor and it was caught on a number of dash cams and doorbell cameras as it passed overhead. A meteor is a piece of space debris that burns up as it enters the Earth's atmosphere, creating that famous shooting star effect. Weather now with Matt Taylor. I'm not sure we're going to be seeing uh, much in the sky tonight, are we? Nope. And tomorrow is something a bit more familiar and a little less appealing as well. Rain. More of it to come, I'm afraid. Let me just show you some of the weather watcher shots from uh, parts of England from today. We've had two dry days in these areas. And look, we still have flooded fields, flooded playing courts, flooded roads as well, and very rain-sodden fields out there. But as I said, there's more rain to come. If I show you the forecast, rainfall amounts for the next two days alone, all of us will see rain. It's these darker colours in the west on the hills where we could see an excess of 50 millimetres two inches of rain and it's all coming to see of cloud which extends at the moment thousands of miles from Cuba all the way to our shores. It's this bobble here developing which will bring the wettest of the weather tomorrow. It's Thanks, Alison. Good evening. Well, it's felt a little bit like spring for the last few days. It's even looked a little bit like spring, but the temperature has been mild, very mild for February, but it is getting colder as we head towards the end of this week. But for today, we've had quite a bit of cloud, largely dry, admittedly, but lots of shades of grey. Just a few breaks in the cloud this afternoon have led to some little bursts of sunshine, so it's really felt rather warm. But you'll notice here at Casterbury Park in Watford, we've got some saturated ground and there is more rain on the way. Hello there. The next couple of days look pretty unsettled. We'll see two areas of low pressure moving in, bringing wet and windy weather to our shores. Could see some issues with localised flooding in places as the ground is already so saturated. But... Uh, one thing noticeable for the next few days, despite the wind and the rain, it will stay very mild before things turn colder from Thursday onwards. And Alex is in Birmingham, uh, where it's been a bit of a wet evening, hasn't it? And it's not going to be getting any better, is it? Uh, that's right, Mary. It is going to be pretty unsettled as we head through the next 24 hours or so. As I say, we've been in Birmingham today at the University of Birmingham, uh, which is home to Old Joe, uh, the tallest freestanding clock tower in, well, not just Birmingham, but the world. It stands at over 100 metres tall. And earlier we went up to take a look at the skies across Birmingham, which, as you can see from these pictures, were uh, largely grey and overcast. And that rain has certainly been moving in over the last uh, couple of hours or so. We're actually in a dry spell at the moment. And that is why the Met Office have decided to uh, keep with that warning, which kicks in at midnight tonight. But earlier today, they made the decision to extend 
extend it a little bit further north into northern parts of Wales as well. So there could be some local impacts, but I'd say there could be some impacts outside of the warning area as well, because as I say, that rain is going to be thoroughly uh, heavy at times and it's falling on uh, it's very saturated ground, not just across the southwest of England, but for other parts as well. And as I say, it says, pretty changeable as we head through the rest of this week. So for the forecast in a lot more detail, let's take a look at it right now. Well, the overview for this week is unsettled weather conditions. It's going to be a case of rain or some fairly heavy showers at times. And there's even a possibility that towards the end of this week, with cold air beginning to push in, some of the precipitation could be turning to snow, particularly up across the northwest of Britain. But well, Mary, as you can see, it is dry here in Birmingham at the moment. So we've been pretty lucky during the forecast, but there is certainly that band of rain knocking on the door. So it is brollies at the ready tomorrow.